video we are going to visit our first lesson from civics what is democracy why democracy let us first know the simplest definition of democracy democracy is a form of government in which the rulers are elected by the people this definition of democracy gives rise to various questions who are the rulers in this definition what kind of election could be called as a democratic election who are the people who can elect the rulers or get elected as rulers finally what form of government is a democracy now let us visit a few countries and critically try to understand if they could be called a democracy the first country is pakistan in pakistan general parvez musharraf led a military coup in october 1999 he illegally overthrew the democratically elected government and went on to become the president of the country in 2002 he also held a referendum in the country that granted him a 5 year extension a referendum is a direct vote in which the electorate is asked to either accept or reject a particular proposal meanwhile he issued a legal framework order according to it the president can dismiss the national and provincial assemblies later elections were held to the national and provincial assemblies and elected representatives were granted some powers but the final power rested with the military officers and general musharraf himself now can such a government be called democratic not quite people may have elected their representatives but the elected representatives cannot take the final decision hence we conclude it was not a democratic country the same thing happens in many dictatorships and monarchies thus we can conclude that in a democracy the final decision making power must rest with those elected by the people let us visit china and mexico in china elections are held after every 5 years for electing the country's parliament called kuangguo renmin daibiao dahuai means national people's congress the national people's congress has the power to appoint the president of the country before contesting elections a candidate needs the approval of the chinese communist party the government is always formed by the communist party or its allies now can such a government be called democratic in mexico since its independence in 1930 elections are held after every 6 years to elect its president but until 2000 every election was won by a party called PRI institutional revolutionary party opposition parties have never won a single election PRI asked government officials to attend party meetings teachers of government schools used to force parents to vote for PRI polling booths were shifted in the last minute which made it difficult for people to cast their vote can we consider the elections described above as examples of people electing their rulers reading these examples we get a sense that we cannot democracy must be based on a free and fair election where those currently in power have 
a fair chance of losing. Democracy is based on a fundamental principle of political equality. However, there are many instances of denial of the equal right to vote. Do you know until 2015 in Saudi Arabia, women did not have the right to vote. Estonia has made its citizenship rules in such a way that people belonging to the Russian minority found it difficult to get the right to vote. In Fiji, the electoral system is such that the vote of an indigenous Fiji has more value than that of an Indian Fijian. The feature of democracy these examples highlight is that in a democracy, each adult citizen must have one vote and in turn each vote must have one value. Zimbabwe attained independence from white minority rule in 1980 and from then the country has been ruled by the party that led the freedom struggle, ZANU PF. Its leader Robert Mugabe ruled the country since independence. Even if elections were held regularly, it was always won by ZANU PF. President Mugabe was popular but also used unfair practices in elections. There was a law that limited the right to criticize the president. Television and radio were controlled by the government and gave only the ruling party's version. There were independent newspapers but the government harassed those journalists who went against it. Can we call this country democratic? No, as a democratic government rules within limits set by constitutional law and citizens' rights. Hence, we can sum up the features of democracy as a form of government in which rulers elected by the people take all the major decisions. Elections offer a choice and fair opportunity to the people to change the current rulers. This choice and opportunity is available to all the people on an equal basis. The exercise of this choice leads to a government limited by basic rules of constitution and citizens' rights.